Hello guys and welcome in the sixth episode. In the last episode we have created the basis for our game. So whenever we press this play button we have the flag rotating and we can click on the flag and the flags are changing. So today we will want to display the text, the current name of the of the questioned flag. And then whenever, based on our selection, if we select the correct flag, we want to display the green mark. If we make a mistake, we want to display the red mark. So let's do it. Stop our game and then open the scene folder, the game scene, and then click on the main camera. Inside the main camera, we have the flag manager. Just right, cl just click on this small icon here and then edit script. Uh, the first thing we will want to add the text uh, variable to this to this script. So right at the top, below the flag flag objects, I will add another variable called display text. So that's going to be public text. Display text. So as you can see, the text is not recognized now. This uh, this object because we need to add uh, add Unity UI. So right at the at the top, put using Unity engine, not editor engine. Dot UI. Okay. Once you put this one in, the text should be recognized. So you can use this variable. So let's add another function right at the bottom of the of the script. I will add. I will add uh, the function to update the text, so void update display update display text. Okay, so this function will be just updating this uh, this text. So display display text dot text will be equal to. And now we want to get the final flag name. But as I remember correctly, we don't have that function in our current game data. So let's quickly switch to that to that script. And then um, find a function name, get flag name, length. So we can then get the length of the flag name, but we cannot get the flag name itself. Uh, okay, let's add that function in. So public. In our current game data, we are adding the new function, so public get flag name okay and then i will pass the uh, int index so we want to get the flag name based on the index and we want to return game data dot instance dot uh, country flag country set per game and we want to pass index and then we want to call the name okay so you want to return the name of the flag uh, okay inside this function we need to actually return the string right so don't forget to put strings in okay let's save the script and then switch back to the flag manager inside our update display text function we want to get the m underscore current game data dot get flag name and you want to get the final flag name so inside the braces put the m underscore game data dot uh, get final flag index okay so we want to pass the final flag index you want to get the name of the final flag okay so now we want to call this function this update display text Okay, so let's copy this function. And first of all, I will call it from the first run. So right below the start coroutine, I will call this update display text. And then on load next game, I will call this function as well. So make sure you put this function to updating the text below the get new countries. If you put this function above, then you want it, then you will display the 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 name of the country from the previous game because right right after you display the name you're going to assign the new countries so make sure this function is right is as the last one so you have the updated updated data okay let's save everything switch back to the unity and test it okay so we need to start the game from the main menu so go to the main menu and start the game 
as you can see, is uh, the game's freaked out. This is because um, we forgot to do one thing. So go back to the game scene, and then inside our main camera, we have additional variable which has not been assigned. So we need to put the uh, put here our text object. So on our canvas, we have a text. So just drag and drop this text onto display text, and then save the scene. Okay, let's go back to the main menu and start again. Okay, Ukraine. I think this is so. You see the the text is not is not fit in uh, the whole name. The Czech Republic is not is not fit on our screen. So I might make this text smaller, but the countries are displayed correctly. I think. Okay, so let's switch uh, to the game scene and then text. I will change the font from 95 to maybe 35 and I'll move a little bit down. So I'll move it right about about here. Okay. So let's save the scene and then start the game again. Play. Yeah, the controls are displayed correctly now. So now, based on our selection, we want to display the, uh, the tick, the green tick or the red cross. If we make mistake, if you're not selecting the right country, the right flag, we want to display the red cross. So we will know, because currently I don't know if I selected the correct flag or not. So let's quickly do it. So the first thing we need to do is add a new script. So let's go to the script folder and I will create new script. So right click, create C sharp script and I will call it checkbox. Checkbox, okay, let's open the script. So inside our checkbox script, I will add a few variables. The first one will be public uh, sprite check and then uh, the sprite object for the cross. So, so the cross. Okay, so we can assign the images. Uh, and then we need a private variable to hold our image, current display image. So image. And underscore image okay so as you see the image object is not recognized this is because we need to using the UI script uh, unity editor UI so using unity engine dot UI okay so image is fine now so we need another variable private Uh, we will do some um, small animation for, for this cross and uh, check. So I will add uh, the boolean variable uh, m underscore animation completed. Okay, and then we need another variable which will be private float. Uh, m underscore fill amount fill amount okay so on the start on the start method uh, I want to assign the m underscore fill amount to be equal to zero so we won't see any image so basically what we want to do we want to have an image in the middle of the screen and then this image will be filled up with the color okay so this fill amount is how much how much of the of the object is filled up with the with the actual image uh, so first of all the fill amount um, will be zero and then m underscore animated and completed will be equal to false and then we want to actually get the reference to our image so m underscore image will be equal to game object make sure it's a small game uh, with game starting with the small letter dot get component in children and then I want to get the image okay so we we want to get the reference to our image um, so I will add uh, one more uh, another function right at the bottom this function will be called private void customize 
animation animation so this customized animation will have a int fill method uh, so the fill method is how we're gonna fill up the the image how we assign it to one just for now uh, then int origin so so from where we wanna we want to actually start filling up the uh, our image so it's going to be casted to int and now we get the random number dot range and now we are the zero to three okay and then our m underscore image dot fill method will be equal to and now we cast it image dot fill method uh, fill method okay and then uh, we want to get the under um, underscore image dot uh, fill origin will be equal to origin okay so every time the origin will be from the range of zero to three so we don't see the the same effect every time okay so we need to call this customize animation from our start method so copy it and then we want to call the customize animation right at the start and then we need another another two functions so first function will be public correct correct and this correct function will call Uh, customize animation so we want to assign the animation properties and then we need m underscore image dot sprite will be equal to uh, check okay and then we want to start filling up the pic uh, the picture with this with this image um, I forgot here is a void need to return the some parameters we have to create uh, another function right below the correct I will create the function I enumerator uh, I enumerator and this function will be uh, will be called filling effect filling effect okay I will put the while loop while uh, m underscore fill amount will be less than one so while the picture is not fully filled up uh, we want to get the m underscore fill amount plus equal 0 0.05 f and then m underscore image dot fill amount will be equal to m underscore fill amount okay so we want to assign this fill amount to that of our image fill amount and then we want to yield yield return null okay and then we have our animation completed variable so once we've done we fill, we filled up all of the all picture we want to set the fill amount, uh, sorry, animation completed to be equal to true. So we will know the animation has been completed. And then I will create uh, the wrapper function around this animation completed. So it's going to be public bool animation completed. And this function will return M underscore animation completed okay so we can call this function from outside of the script right so we need um, two more methods inside this uh, inside this uh, class so below the correct uh, actually inside the correct function we we still need to call this fill, uh, fill effect so I will call the start coroutine and from the coroutine I will call this fill effect okay
right? And then I will call below, I will call another function which will be public void wrong. And um, in our wrong function, we want to do the same. So customize, customize animation, uh, m underscore image dot sprite will be equal to wrong. So we want to, uh, sorry, not wrong, uh, the cross. So we want to display the cross picture. And then we want to call start, start coroutine, filling effect. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, this is uh, the wrong function, and we uh, also want to want to remove the completely the picture from the screen. So the basically the cross or the or the tick will not stay for the whole time. Uh, it's it's going to stay for this while the flags are rotating. So we want to create public void clear. Okay, and in the clear function, we want to actually restart all of the variables. So m underscore fill amount will be equal to zero. Uh, and then m underscore image dot fill amount will be equal to m underscore fill amount, which will be zero. And then m underscore animation completed will be equal to false. Okay, so we are ready for the next animation. Okay, so I think uh, that will be it for this class. Let's save everything. And now we need to call these functions from outside of this class. So we make this one works. So the best place to call it will be inside our flag script. We will need to actually add one more variable here. So in the flag script, we will add the the variable which will be hidden is in the inspector, so hiding inspector, and then it's going to be public int flag flag index will be equal to zero. So this flag index um, will represent the index of the currently selected flag. So if you remember from our previous episodes, in the flag manager we have assigned assign the flags so we have assigned the specific in image to the specific flag object so this object need to hold the index of the selected picture so we can by clicking on the object we can compare if we clicked on the on the correct correct pictures based on their name uh, it sounds a little bit complicated but it's really not we need to do just one more call from this function but first of all go back to the flag script and uh, we need to actually act on this uh, on this flag index variable so i will i will just create right at the bottom i will create um, one more function which will be public void set flag index i'm gonna be int index okay and this function will uh, just uh, set the flag flag index will be equal to index. Okay, so we're just assigning this flag index. And then, um, and then inside this function, we also need to have a reference to our checkbox. So, um, I will create a variable private, private checkbox. And then I will call it m underscore checkbox. checkbox okay so we need to, to actually initialize this variable from the start method so inside our start method I will put the checkbox will be equal to game object dot uh, make sure it's capital G game object dot find and then we want to find uh, this object by its name but I think we didn't create the object yet inside the unity so before we complete this line, let's switch back to the Unity. Just save everything before we do that. 
and then uh, open our scenes, game scene, and then under the canvas, in our game scene, we want to add another element. So right click on it, uh, on the canvas, and then select the UI, then image. And I will call this image checkbox. Checkbox, okay? Make sure it's image because we want to use this image, image um, object to display the correct picture, okay? So I will copy this name, and I will go back to our script, to our flag script. Okay, so in the start method, we need, we can complete now. So we want to find the checkbox, the object which we just created, dot get component. And we want to get components the checkbox script. So it's the checkbox, and we want to get it as a checkbox. Okay. Okay, so we have our checkbox. We also need to have the reference for our current game data, so we know what the index of the final flag is. So let's quickly add it. Uh, so under the checkbox, I will call, I will create another variable which will be private. Current current game data. M underscore game. game data okay so this game data will have to be initialized as well in our start method so game data is equal to game object dot again game object dot find and we want to find it by name so i can't remember the name exactly so i switch back to the unity again and the name is the game object data so make sure you just copy this name and switch back to the to the Unity, uh, to the Visual Studio, and then paste the name here, so we don't make any spelling mistake. Get component, current, current game data, as, as current game data. Okay, so we have our game data, and uh, I think we have everything we need just for now. So um, inside our flag script, uh, just scroll down to on mouse down. Uh, on mouse down function and we want to between these two braces we want to add um, f statement so if the flag index so this flag index which we just created here will be equal to make sure it's double equal sign will be equal to an underscore game data dot get final flag index so if this index will be equal to final flag index, so that means we have selected the correct flag. So what we want to do, we want to actually do m underscore checkbox dot correct. So that's this correct function will assign the, cor the, the, the green tick to the checkbox and we just do the animation on it. Uh, otherwise, we want to display the M underscore checkbox dot wrong. Okay. So now inside our update function, we want to load new game, but only when the animation of the when the animation for our checkbox is completed. So under this f load new game is equal to true, we want to put f m underscore checkbox dot animation completed so if the animation has been completed then we want to load new game and also we want to we want to remove that che our checkbox so right at the bottom we add m underscore checkbox dot clear so we want to restart all of the variables for uh, for the next animation okay so the last thing to do from the code perspective is to actually assign this flag index because currently this function is not used anywhere. So this is going to be very simple. So switch to the flag manager and in the assigned flag, we want to do exactly the same as we're doing here. So whenever the final flag will be on position number zero, we're going to go to the flag objects. 
flag objects at zero dot get component and we want to get the flag component so that's going to be flag dot set flag index and we want to set it m underscore game data dot dot get final flag index okay because the final flag is on the position zero as you see okay so this this these two indexes will be match okay so i will duplicate this one two times so we want to do the same for position one and position two but on position one we want to get the first flag index so i will copy this first flag and i'll paste it here and then i will copy it for the second position and paste it here so we have a final flag on the position zero first flag and the second flag okay so i want to copy all of this and i want to put it under the case one so on the case one our final flag index is on position one so make sure you just put the final flag on position one the first flag on position zero and the second flag on position two okay i i just copied everything so make sure just double check if you have everything right so again i will copy all of this one and paste it here okay so our final flag index is on the position two now so i will copy it second is on position second uh, on the first position and the first is on the on the position zero okay so just highlight all of the get final flag we have three of them okay get second get second flag index we have three and the get first flag index yes we have three okay we can save everything now and switch back to the unity uh, inside the unity we actually in our game scene we need to assign our checkbox script to our checkbox so in uh, click on the checkbox and then um, from from the script folder just select this checkbox and drag and drop on the checkbox object and then we need to assign two graphics for it so the check and the cross so open your assets here and uh, under the item folder you have the cycles and then drag and drop this check under the check and the cross on the cross okay so now let's save everything save scene and then uh, we need to start the game from the game scene of course uh, sorry from the main menu and then press play and see how everything's looking play so we have our object here what's happening if we select something oh this is right okay so as you see the cyprus is correct okay romania this is the romania but I will select this. Okay. So as you see, the, the image is displayed correctly. But the, the thing is like, it's not animating as we want. Eh? It's just displaying and it's never disappearing. Okay. So the we need to actually look at, at our script. So stop this game and go back to our checkbox script. Okay. Let's check the image. So the image is there. And we're setting the fill amount. fill amount on the filling effect but right at the start the fill amount is set to 1 so on the start just call this m image dot fill amount will be equal to fill amount m underscore fill amount so will be will be 0 so we won't see any picture okay let's test it quickly save it and go back to the unity Press play. Uh, seems like it's not working. So open the game scene again and uh, select this checkbox image. The image does not have any source image assigned to it. So I will just uh, drag and drop our check, our check image on it okay okay so now we need to change the image type 
to be from simple to field okay and then we have now available the fill method and the fill origin so the fill method will be i will i will stick with the radial but you can select any of it it's going to work either and then fill fill amount i want to change the fill amount to zero so you see this is the effect as you see on the screen if we change this fill, uh, this this radial 360 to let's say 90 we have different fill effect this one is different then horizontal is clearing down like that and then vertical is like that so basically this fill method as you remember from from our script if you go back to the script to the checkbox script we have this customize animation function so the fill method is representing the, the the that method which we actually switched okay which we selected okay and the origin is then from where we want to start filling it up so we can play with this those var var variables to actually see see something different so let's go back to the unity and select again this checkbox so right at the beginning we want to uh, we, we want to set this value fill amount to zero okay and then let's save everything save and then go back to this to the scene um, and then select the main menu okay so then press play and start see again so we don't see any cross or anything and now island i think this one no is a cross okay so you see everything seems like is okay The only problem is, is disappearing, this cross disappearing too quickly. So this is going to be last thing we're going to do today. Uh, so let's go back to our scripts. Uh, let's open the flag script. And I think we need to add some, uh, some delay on the on mouse down boot uh, function. Uh, okay, right at the bottom of this um, of this flask script, I will add uh, i enumerator, and I will call it sleep. So I want to yield return new weight for seconds, and I want to let's stop it for half second okay so this function we will call from our own mouse down so after the braces i want to do the start coroutine start coroutine and then i want to put the slip slip okay so we want to call this function from here but the problem which we now have is this function will be called like every frame to check. Uh, I mean, every time we press on something uh, on on the flag, we don't want to do that. So we want to prevent this function to executing multiple times. And I will put the another variable which will call, uh, which will be called the button pressed. So right at the top of the scri script, I will I will add another variable. Oh, the variable is already there. So button pressed. Okay, so we have this button pressed here, F statement, so I will uncomment it. And I will add I will add the button pressed here in the sleep function to be equal to false uh, to be equal to true. And then after we've done, I will want this one to be equal to false. So we can execute, we can press on anything, uh, I mean click on anything again. Okay, so let's save everything now and go back to the Unity and see our change in action. So I think it's a little bit longer now.
actually is not. Uh, so let's go back and see what's happened. Let's try to increase um, in our flag script. Let's try to increase this to be to let's say two and a half second. Let's save it. Go back to Unity and test it again. Okay, doesn't seem to have any effect. Okay, uh, so one more thing which we can try is um, inside our flag script, inside the sleep function, just change this one back to 0 0.5. Let's save it. So in our update function, let's put another inside the f statement, the load new game is equal to true and the button pressed is equal to false. Okay, so in this case, in this case, we can actually affect this time going to affect how how far when we're going to load next next animation. So let's save everything and switch back to the unity again. Press play. And I think now it should be should be much better. So Yes, we can see this this image for longer. Okay, we can even manipulate that time. So if we switch back, uh, we change this value to be let's say zero point or maybe one. If I save it and go back to Unity. Okay. As you see, this everything is staying for much longer. Okay, so we can clearly see if we select the correct flag or not. You can. This game is actually playable now. So that's pretty much it for this episode. This episode has been a little bit longer, and we switch back and forward from the code to the Unity, but we achieved the, our results, what we planned. So the next episode, we will actually start to implement the game modes. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode.